Man, imagine getting evicted from home one day and then fleeing to a country that is more economically developed and you work there for at least a year. It's like a tiger crashing into your house. It's like a hurricane sucking up the dick of your house. But sometimes it's just so fucking weird the way that procedures like going to fast food restaurants or going to cafeterias, they just do it so freaking wrong these days. Well, let's say you're working in Starbucks. Suppose you're from the United States. Let's say you're working in a Starbucks in Los Angeles, California. Firstly, you would have to know everything about Starbucks. And second, you would have to know everything about the standards. Because sometimes when it all goes wrong, they make up some freaking shit excuse whenever things go wrong. About 75% of these fucking cases involve refugee workers. There was one time, like two years ago, that I went to a Popeyes and I told the lady at the cashier to give me a chicken sandwich, french fries, and a Diet Coke without ice and without lemon. And what did she do? She gave me at least a chicken sandwich, at least one thing I wanted, but no fries. She didn't put ice in the Coke. That's fucking two lemons. Not even one, but two. Fuck it. And even worse, after I made the order, it took fucking 15 minutes. Not one, not two. 15. And yes, as I just mentioned, she's a refugee worker. She's not a full American. A full American would do a better job than that slut. And then, sometime later, I went to a Philly's chicken restaurant. And I asked for a sandwich. Just the chicken inside. I said, don't put onions. Don't put lettuce. Don't put peppers or tomatoes. She fucking put all of it. Are you fucking out of your mind? And she's also... A refugee worker, not a full American. Fuck off, bitch. At this point, a Pablo Escobar supporter must shoot that bitch dead. Even being fired won't help those sluts. Because they, and I mean refugee workers, when it's a refugee worker, they don't know how to work. They make some shit, slutty excuses Time after time after time. This did not only happen once. I went to that same Philly's chicken restaurant again, like four months later. But this time, I literally slammed the fuck on that same slut. She had a fucking Mexican accent. And you know what? I said to her face, hope you get fired, bitch. And again, just like the first time. I said only put chicken and cheese inside. But she even put onions. She even put pink carrots. Pink carrots. You fucking Escobar slut. Get the fuck out of the country for good. Pack your bags and fuck off. A full American. Somebody that has lived in the US the whole fucking time. Somebody that knows about the restaurant better would do 27 fucking times better than you lot sluts. At this point, go back to your country, mate. I'm getting out of here.